Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a special message for everyone watching. And it's a message that was meant to find you uh, at this current time. And this of course can be for any sign watching. And I really want to uh, read it as something you need to know right now, okay, in regards to your love situation or something that you feel like you're going through um, and something that you'd like to sort of see how things play out, um, see the current energies in that. Um, so we'll see what the cards can reveal. And I'll be using a couple of decks, um, but before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you for liking and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. Um, please feel free to like this video if you enjoy the content and also to subscribe to join the YouTube family. Uh, that would really mean a lot. So um, thank you so much, everyone. Um, let's give the cards a good shuffle. Okay, so this can be for any sign watching. The message that was meant to find you at this point in time exactly where you find yourself in the present moment in your relationships Okay, let's have a look here. What do we have so far? So straight away, I'm getting a vibe that there's a bit of loss happening around some of you right now. Um, and we can see that loss. There's, there's loss and confusion that I'm sensing um, where you currently find yourself in a situation. And this has sort of come up with the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Um, there's potentially a situation where you have feel you have felt or you will feel disrespected or hurt or confused um and i get the sense that right now there's a lot of this anticipating energy where you're awaiting something okay awaiting a response awaiting someone to um, message you to call you uh and I feel like there's a fighting spirit. There may have been some sort of argument, okay, with the Ace of Swords. It's like you were trying to get your word out or you were trying to defend yourself in a situation. Um, but for some of you, it feels like a loss, okay? You're almost grieving it as a loss. So whatever this is that has happened, uh, it has caused you to feel this way. And you're still hung up, okay? The hangman is here, so you're still hung up on a situation and you can't seem to think clearly, okay? And it could be in a sense, you're not thinking clearly, you're hung up about a situation, yet you want someone to fight for you, or you want to show someone that you want to fight for them. Now, there's a Leo uh, energy that has come up with the Queen of Wands, and to have a Leo energy right now indicates that there is a bit of ego involved in a situation. And it could be because of reasons due to ego that you're seeing this type of energy right now. Um, it's also a possessive thing. So the issue at hand could be related to like being possessive over someone, wanting to keep them, wanting to have them, wanting to have them all to yourself. It could be an issue of pride, of ego, okay, who earns more money, who does this better, who gets more attention. It can be seen as a competitive thing. So for some of you, it could be because of a competitive reason that has brought you into this sort of dynamic and into this sort of situation. And it's not sitting well with you. Uh, I think a lot of you aren't taking action right now. Uh, you're sort of sitting and, and waiting around. There's a lot of sitting and, and waiting the um the hangman can be seen as like the silent treatment or some form of punishment so i get some of you are maybe in no contact maybe your person is pushing you away maybe you feel really disconnected with this person and it's hurting you in a lot of ways and that hurt is evidenced with the three of swords and the ten of swords okay um especially to the air signs watching 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this isn't relation to the air signs. It's all about mentality and the way that you're thinking and, and receiving the, the messages that are coming in around you right now. And there's a lot of confusion, okay? There's, there's been some form of miscommunication. And the Knight of Swords is that this communication happened very suddenly, okay? At a very fast pace. The words were exchanged or the words were said very fast without... Uh, thought with that intention and as a result it's turned things on its head it's turned things a little bit upside down and, and you're unsure um, where you stand right now uh, there's definitely pain okay there's there's pain this could be deception with the three of swords you may be feeling hurt because someone did something to betray you the ten of swords can be betrayal and I guess what I, I, I want to say notice how the cards go down this way um, I want to say that there's potentially a third party love triangle, a ten of swords betrayal, or this heated exchange of words. That's that's really at the depth of this issue. Um, it's really what's weighing things down. Um, and it might have happened in the recent past. The right is the future. The left can be the past. And I get for some, the two of wands with the three of swords, you are hurt by some sort of uh, option or someone possibly coming after your lover or after this person and you're you're hurt by it okay you're hurt because you feel like they have options in a way three of swords with the three of cups uh right now to be in a leo energy it it's it's a heightened energy leo is fire so i get there's a lot of anger around a situation right now and there's an anger that someone either needs to release or someone needs to work through um, before you can make amends and that amends is possible with the ace of cups so that's that's a little bit of hope and a little bit of light for some of us that are going through this and to see that come up in the cards the ace of cups can be like rebirth it's a renewal it can be forgiveness it's someone extending the olive branch and, and trying to work through things once again um, and that offer can manifest very much in the physical realm because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. And he's all about things happening in the physical. Uh, but it's back to that Leo energy. Um, it's a protective energy. So maybe the advice is here that whatever's going on, this person is trying to be protective uh, or protection is needed. They're, they may be trying to protect themselves from you from from themselves even and it's it's territory as well so there could be a situation where you're overstepping the mark or, or someone that you're dealing with may be feeling like you're overstepping the mark and there's there's this sense of like threatening energy and it's the if i'm not going to do this they're gonna hurt me by doing x y and z and it's making you feel in like you're anticipating something. It's not putting you in a good mind space. It potentially has you really worried that you're going to lose everything you've worked towards, everything you've built up. Um, you know, if you have built solid foundations, we see the fortress walls. So you've built something with this person, uh, a relationship, an exchange of trust. Um, you've built a life together. You have a history together. You have something that you fear will come undone or will come shattering down and that scares you a lot um because you don't entirely want to walk away just yet the five of swords is here a part of you wants to move forward because you're attracting already other people um leo the queen of wands is a very sexual energy she's sitting right out uh, right in the middle of the spread here um so with territory and anger also comes lust and infatuation so i get the sense that there is there is someone who's showing you interest. There is someone who's physically attracted and they could be potentially making some moves here towards you. But a lot of you, I don't think you're right now. I, I think you just want to stand still. And I mean, you do have options. There's options here around you, but I think you want to need, you need more time to assess the situation and assess what's really going on here on a deeper level because the five of swords is picking up the pieces. So I sense that 
a lot of you may be reflecting back on what went wrong and in particular words okay this can be like reading over messages this can be like uh, uh, running through that last conversation you had in your mind wondering what you said what you did picking up the swords can be like a recollection of, of events or words and that potentially uh, needs to happen here um, in this process uh, to ensure um, to ensure you reach some sort of breakthrough, okay? Uh, the, the sword is up, so it could really indicate someone will still be defensive towards you. Um, but let's see what else the cards can reveal with a different deck um, about what the advice may be and how things could play out for you given your current circumstances. Okay, Ace of Cups has come up twice. Um, we've got the Moon. So Ace of Cups is water energy. Uh, the Moon is Cancer. Okay, so for those dealing with a Cancer, this person has come up in the sun, in in, in the um, energies here. Uh, Leo, which was came up here, and also you have the Star card, which is healing. Uh, so some powerful, some very powerful, hopeful messages I feel that are coming up around you. Um, now the star and the moon uh, can uh, reflect astrological energy. So it, I, I feel like there is some planetary shifts that may be working in your favor as as of things uh, uh, as as things stand. The Ace of Cups says that there is a chance to mend things and there is a chance to heal because the Star card is all about forgiveness. Um, and I feel like you, on some level, feel like this person might be astrologically very compatible with you. Maybe you feel like it's your destiny to be with this person or you feel like your future is with them. Um, there's a very strong attachment that exists between you and this person because you've got the moon and Cancer as a sign um, is is does get attached and uh, they can form very deep love attachments. Um, it's all about the home and all about secu emotional security for this sign. So I'm seeing that emotional security is a big factor for you, but that's something that can very much be restored in this situation here. So, um, but the moon is also the subconscious and it can also represent things like anxiety and uncertainty. So when I say this, I feel like subconsciously, the both of you are sort of either thinking about each other, maybe you're doing things on a subconscious level. Okay, maybe um, like you're wearing this person's favorite perfume or you're thinking about each other at the same time or maybe you're having dreams of each other. On a subconscious level, there could be um, a link or subconscious activity um, that's that's. Uh, linking you to this person that's linking you to each other uh, but I also feel like it very much points to um, the nature of your connection and I feel like with the advice the nine of wands would be because it's upside down it would indicate someone's no longer being really defensive someone is dropping their guard a little bit so the advice here might be for some of you to drop your guard in this situation or perhaps the other person may be dropping their guard um, in a situation as well. The Three of Cups card is reversed though. So right now it could indicate that the advice is that friendship is uh, um, not favorable because the Three of Cups can be like bond and friendship and, and going back to those basics. It could very well indicate that right now in the cards, um, what's coming up is that the Three of Cups reversed could indicate that someone isn't looking for friendship right now or they're not looking to restore the friendship attachment that you have so forgiveness is likely but it doesn't mean that friendship is going to be restored straight after and if you're looking for, for things to turn civil it may take uh, some time but that healing can happen and it could indicate that you're in the final stages of whatever this is this this argument this dilemma no contact because you do have um, some numbers that would indicate um, 
uh, coming towards the end of a, a situation. You've got um, 17 and 8. Okay, so you've got 7, 8, 9 actually consecutive numbers. Um, and then you have Ace, which, you know, can be seen as the new beginning. So it could indicate that right now, as things are, it's it's in its later stages, which would indicate that you're coming towards a period where resolution appears to be coming closer. And there's an opportunity for a new be beginning or for you to heal with this person. But I, I get the sense that we can't expect friendship too, too quickly, or, you know, we can't expect this person to be just themselves again, to be warm and... You know, they, they have some things they might be territorial about or angry about. Uh, and, you know, there's there's this silent treatment, this punishment phase. And that's taken a lot out of them. But it's also affected you in a lot of ways as well. Um, and, you know, you've tried to, you tried to be confident about it. And maybe there's a little bit of ego on your side as well, which is only natural. I mean, it's a, it's a defensive response we all have. It's a defense mechanism. So... You know, we're all human, um, but it's important to come back into self mode and realize and sort of look at things as, as we look over the cards in the grand scheme of things. Is this argument or is this fight or is this, you know, behavior, this, this territorial behavior, is it worth it? And is it is it achieving happiness and love in your connection at this point in time? And Either maybe you need to take um, the time to see this overall, or maybe your person does. Um, they need to take the time because if there was pain and hurt, um, it's still quite deep and subconsciously it still exists. And it's something that someone needs to work through. And it almost like looks like a sun emerging from the cup. So it's like a new dawn, um, a new opportunity in a way. So so I think healing is 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 very possible um, with the way things are. I think there is a possibility to mend things, but it may not be for a while. you know you may go through a quiet period, a period of reflection, a period of no contact um, before you pick up those pieces again. but some of you feel like you are losing this person or you're losing touch with them and maybe something that you once had, um, it doesn't seem so accessible anymore. Suddenly it seems more distant, more further. And that's a scary thing to go through. You know, um, the thought of losing a connection entirely is is a scary thing, okay? It's, it's a scary thing for anyone, regardless of whether they've experienced a lot of losses in their life or no losses in their life. And... You know, it, it does bring out a bit of crazy, you know, a bit of ego. It does bring out an, a very much an emotional sign. Um, there's a lot of turbulence, absolutely. Um, and especially around romantic energies. We're in Taurus season, which is ruled by uh, Venus, the planet of love. So um, know that possibly a lot of us are facing these love issues in the physical aspect of our relationship because the Taurus sign also rules over our physical nature, our day-to-day -day lives, things we can experience in the physical realm. So um, especially in matters of love and, and Venus related matters. So know that you're not alone in the situation and there's a lot of us trying to fight, trying to find our way, um, trying to, you know, understand our love relationships better, ourselves, who we are as lovers, how we could improve as lovers. Um, and it's a work in progress. So um, as long as we continue that, I think it's a good sign that we're on, you know, we're on the path to healing or mending things with ourselves internally, but also in that of our relationships as well. So um, overall, quite an interesting reading, but I did want to uh, focus it on the people that needed to hear it. So if you clicked on this message, maybe it's a sign that the universe has guided you to it for a reason. Um, so it can be for any sign, any sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Um, it really is just what is going to apply, what is going to resonate uh, with you in this current moment, in this current um, time frame that you may find yourself in. Uh, if you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. Um, 
I am currently providing those for a limited time. Otherwise, I really hope you, you work through this. I hope there's love and healing in this journey for you. And I really do appreciate you joining me. So thank you again so much, everyone. Um, all the best. Much love and bye for now.